induction. What's an induction? Okay, an induction is you got some evidence, you draw some conclusion from the evidence. The conclusion doesn't follow with logic validity from the evidence, but you, but it, but you somehow think that the evidence provides reason to believe the conclusion. Now, when induction is, is good and when it's bad, that is one of the most fundamental and important questions in philosophy and philosophy of science. That's really Hume's problem and, and Goodman's paradox. It's pessimistic because with respect to scientific realism, you should think that the evidence we have is that scientists have come up with lots of, of proposals for what the world is like, and then later they've shown that they're wrong. So maybe anything we come up with, the conclusion that the induction is supposed to lead to, is anything scientists ever come up with is going to be wrong. But I think that's a completely mistaken inference here. First of all, the things that they've come up with, while they've shown to be wrong, they've shown to be wrong in places, but right for the most part. The early quantum theory was wrong, but it had a big part that was right that led to better quantum theory. So Popper noticed this too. You remember Popper earlier, and he wanted to come up with the ideas that, well, theories that people have come up with have been falsified, maybe they were approximately true. And he tried to come up with an account of when a theory is not true, but it's close to being true. That's a really interesting idea. Popper used the word verisimilitude for that. 